What never works for you, no matter how many times you try. Magic hair pictures. I have never seen a god thing in one of those. You people are all liars. It's a schooner. Starting Skyrim again with the thinking that, I'll finish it this time. This, three times now. Living in the middle, or a happy medium. Balanced. I always swing between cycles of inspiration and desperation when it comes to my motivation. Neither is sustainable. But when things are just going okay and ho-hum I start to get really uncomfortable. Either I'm in inspiration mode working my butt off towards a goal, but then I burn out and things go the opposite direction until I become disgusted with myself. That's when desperation or fix everything mode kicks in. Sometimes I self-sabotage unconsciously. I hate it but I've been this way my whole life. If it helps you feel any better, nothing is in perfect balance. Evolution occurs because new species and new environmental conditions are constantly throwing the natural world out of equilibrium this year. Every star in the universe is perpetually in the process of burning itself out or exploding or collapsing under its own gravity. Every galaxy is ever expanding outward from the universe's center. The natural state of things isn't balance and order, it's chaos and change. Nothing is sustainable forever. Yes, a state of perfect balance is like a perfect circle. Both exist only in hypothetical for Monsieur. I could whistle for the life of me. All my friends would show me how they do it and I just end up spitting in their face. That'll show. E Monsieur. Dating apps. I used to give my phone to girls to swipe for me, just for a laugh. They all said pretty much the same things after a while. WTF. Why aren't you getting any matches? Or, is your phone, Tinder broken? Or, maybe you need to adjust your settings. It's hilarious how different Tinder is for opposite. I've seen guys who are proud of having 3 to 5 matches on their phone at the same time. And I've seen girls with 80 plus who just ignore most of them this year. Getting out of bed. This is me right now. Reddit is not helping. And me right now raises hand. To not give a FCK. You should check out the subtle art of not giving the can't be bothered. Whistling. Okay, Pepper. Remembering people's names. If you forget someone's name ask them to tell you their entire name, including middle name. And then ask how they spell it and who they were named after. If you can get them to say it several times you're golden. Also try to say their name to them until the name sticks. My work involves meeting people all the time so if I meet Tom I'll say, it's a pleasure to meet you. To Monsieur. Say Tom, how was your weekend? After saying it enough, it sticks. There is also no shame in telling people that you're bad with names and asking again. Portion control. Cries in pasta. Escaping the infinite continuum of overthinking, edit, and also quitting over talking, is FKN tough. What happens when your little of a brother says, think fast, and then chucks a half-peeled banana, at your face? The over-talking part must kick in and talk the out of him, scare high monsieur, make him realize he's adopted and whatnot, junior, are meant for this, then give them a candy later on. The lotto, I bought my tickets yesterday, I haven't checked yet, but if I win the whole jackpot alone I'll get you something nice. Life. I've tried a lot, believe me. I believe. Just posted the same answer as you before I saw this. Did I miss some class in kindergarten where they taught that or how do people do it? Faking it until I make it. Being able to meditate. Meditation is a journey, not a destination. I think that meditation is sold as a state of being rather than a process. Struggling to meditate and being with your racing thoughts is a part of it. Meditation can be really uncomfortable. If you ever want to retry it just set really low bars and see what happens and slowly become more intense. There is no perfection in meditation. Lose weight. I'd help to start out small, one meal or one drink or one thing at a time. So if you e, g, decide to start drinking only water for thirst instead of milk, juice, whatever, don't push yourself to cut down on treats or junk food and to start eating two pounds of veggies and fruit and to pick up jogging at the same time. Once you have that one change down and maintain it without much effort, you can move on to the next part you want 
want to change, like increasing those greens or cutting down on cheat meals, quitting smoking. You can do it. I was a smoker eight years ago. I really tried my hardest four times before that and relapsed. The fifth time I really wanted to quit, like every fiber of my body wanted this to stop. So I took it one day at a time and reminded myself smoking wasn't an option. Sounds dumb but ignoring the urge, like it never existed and just making sure I didn't smoke for that one day slowly built up to years. Doesn't matter if you relapse 4x or 100x every time you quit, you get better at quitting. I believe you can kick the habit. The secret to quit smoking is to really want to. Socializing. For me it's dating. It's so difficult to find someone who one is attractive to me is attracted to me gives a is single getting up part of the first day le monsieur i have like six alarms if i ever live with a partner they're going to hate me try placing your alarm on the opposite side of your room monsieur doesn't work my husband has his alarm on my side of the room monsieur he will get up walk over to the other side of the room hit the snooze then get back in bed does this four more times before he finally gets up for the day exercising in the morning math the one thing i absolutely cannot do no matter no matter how many times it's been explained to me are the greater than less than signs and lieutenant and gt people have tried in vain hundreds of times to explain what they are and it goes over my head every time the alligator eats the bigger number i don't know how to not overthink french toast i love it it's my favorite breakfast food i can't cook it successfully. I'm a really decent cook. I've watched countless YouTube videos, read countless recipes. It always ends up being soggy. I'm sad that I can't figure it out. You're probably letting it soak up too much egg mixture. Just dip it in and pull it right back out. Then cook it on a lower temp for a longer. That way, you can make it as dry as you like. Making friends. I'll be your friend. That was too easy. Sleeping. No supplement. Sleep hygiene practice or sleeping environment works for me same dude same some people naturally require less sleep than others and it really you up in a world designed around the idea that you should always be asleep at night there are only so many doctors you can see and medications you can try before you realize you'll have to plan your life around it because that isn't going away opening a box of mac and cheese by pushing my thumb into that thing at the top which you're supposed to open it never ever worked for me once I open the box from the top like a normal person. USB drive on first attempt. USBs are the inspiration for the phrase, third time's a charm. I want my dogs to get jobs so they can help with the bills, but it never works because they don't know English and don't have thumbs. Sounds like you're having a rough time. Positronic distillation of subatomic particles. Coding. The struggle is real. The perfect peel on a hard-boiled egg. I've never tried the vinegar trick, but shot Shocking him with cold water has always been my go-to. Trying to pee over my own head into the pot that is standing behind me. You need to do your kegels. Sticking with good habits. I'll go on a workout kick and work out consistently for a month or two, then stop. Or eating healthier, same thing. It's a weird cycle where I know it makes me feel good and happier, but then I feel like I don't deserve to feel better or happy something. So I give up. Telekinesis. I've been trying for at least 20 minutes now. It's working. Aim here straight to your comment to upvote. Avoiding procrastination. Girls, you need to be a less sexist manager than Jerry. Those 3D magic hair photos, where an image is supposed to come out when you defocus your eyes on it. I never saw the hidden images. Talking. I always get interrupted, talked over, ignored. I used to have that problem too, but then I just started calling it out immediately as it was happening. Like, my best friend used to have the bad habit of checking his phone when someone else started talking. All it took was me calling him out in public and drawing the group's attention to it three to four times and then he realized that's unacceptable behavior. Don't be afraid to become a bit of a mate. It works. The phone thing divides the world into people I can be friends with and people I can't. If someone takes out the phone when I'm mid-sentence I'd pause and say, take your time. Usually they need to check something or are worried about self. Not getting mad right away gives them the benefit of the doubt. When not I'll just communicate.
communicate my discontent and probably avoid hanging out with them one-to-one -one in the future. Very little tolerance for that kind of golf. Been trying for three years now to make dad happy and after hundred lessons I still shank everything towards the pond. Taps Temple can't shank everything towards the pond if you play a course without a pond. Cooking poached eggs. The trick is making sure they are fresh. The older the egg, the more they spread out in the water and generally don't poach as well. Trying to fall asleep. Drinking, as in I am unable to drink successfully. Every time I think, I'll just have a few drinks tonight. And every time I end up in the hospital. Days later, usually in ICU, with no memory of what happened in the interim period. This the end stage of a progression of course. But it got to that point over a period of about two years years, which seems shockingly fast to me. The part about the hospital happened six times. Apparently six times was enough. I don't try to drink anymore. Chocolate Don Ash can never get it to the right consistency to pie classic ice cream swirls on cupcakes. Wiping my with my elbow. I wish you the best of luck on your endeavor. Passing a capture on the first try. It always takes me two to three times, even though I know I'm typing it incorrectly. There's a good chance I may actually be a robot. Putting the right amount of pasta in the pot. I either go hungry or make enough for a family of four. Perforated edges. Whatever method people tell me to motivate myself with. Wishing I was rich. No matter how much I wish it just doesn't work. Scratch off tickets. I never get more than $2. I'd be so happy with $20. Ironing. There are always crinkles left. Getting a normal sleeping pattern. Breastfeeding didn't work for me. I have two children and I couldn't breastfeed either one of them this year. And both of my children were bottle fed and they were fine. Another bottle feeding mama here. Mine is five and a half now and hasn't grown an extra head. Seems pretty smart. And is tall for her age. All those bullies can suck it. Bottles. I mean, loving myself. How about I try first, and you follow my lead. Not trying to be sad. Those magic eye stereograms. Painting something I like. I can't paint anything that I deem worthy of anything. Trying to gain weight, muscle. That thing where you stick your fingers in the corners of your mouth and then whistle really loud. Smoking a cigar. I just don't get it. No matter how many exasperated people try and explain it to me, they generally just keep saying suck it like a straw, but don't inhale it. I always end up either inhaling it, which hurts, or nothing happens. It's the most frustrating thing because I don't even care about smoking cigars and I'm glad I don't have the habit. But whenever the social situation arises when everyone else is smoking a cigar, I end up looking like the dumbest person alive and get relentlessly teased about it before I get frustrated enough to storm back inside.